Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a zigzag friendship bracelet uh, using these three yarns. They have a length of about 100 centimeters and um, in order to create this uh, bracelet I will first of all make a uh, an overhand knot to delimit the place where the bracelet begins and to delimit the length of the bracelet tie. So our bracelet tie will be about this long. I will not tighten this knot because in the end I will open the knot. I'll grab the yarns with the clamp and now let's start creating the zigzag pattern of the bracelet. In order to make a zigzag bracelet I will first make forward knots, after which I will make only backward knots. So I will take the pink yarn, so let's switch the yarns like this. The order of your uh, colors will be the order of the colors that will appear on the bracelet. And let's create the first forward knots. In order to make a forward knot, we create something that resembles the shape of a number 4, like this. And then I will put the pinky yarn into this loop here and take it out through the loop. So I have created the first forward knot. Now let's make another forward knot on the same green yarn. I will do the same for knots on the black yarn. So one forward knot, and another forward knot. Like this. And now, by making forward knots, I have brought my pink yarn forward, so from here to here. So making forward knot brings the yarn forward, whereas making the backward knots logically it will bring the back yarn backwards. Now I will create forward knots with the green yarn. So one. on the pink yarn, one forward knot, and a second. Like this. And now our green yarn has been brought forward to this place here. And now let's create forward knots with the black yarn. So one and the second. And on the green yarn One. And now we start making the backward knot. So as you can see on the green yarn I made only one forward knot and now I will start making the backward knots to create the zigzag pattern. In order to make a backward knot I will create this shape of a 4 but in the mirror. I will put the black yarn here through the loop. I will take 
the back yarn out through this loop like this and I have created the backward knot and a backward knot moves my yarn backwards in this direction in the opposite direction and now on the pink yarn I will create two backward knots so a uh, four like this but in the mirror and I put the black yarn like this through the loop of this four and I make one backward knot and the second like this and as you can see my yarn has moved backward to its initial place and now in order to create the zigzag pattern I will make backward knots using the other two yarns so I will make backward knots with the green yarn so the four in the mirror I put the yarn through this loop here then I take it out through the loop and make one backward knot and the second backward knot like this this way and as you can see the yarn has moved from this place to this place so backwards and then I will do uh, the same thing I will create two backward knots on my black yarn so one and the second like this and now let's create the same pattern with the pink yarn so one backward knot a second backward knot and our pink yarn moves backwards from this place here to this place here and then I will make two backward knots on the green yarn so one and the second like this and as you can see the zigzag pattern has started to take shape and now let's create backward knots with the black yarn so I put the yarn through this loop like this so one backward knot the second backward knot like this and on the second yarn one backward knot and now after I have created one for uh, one backward knot I will now create a forward knot with the black yarn on the pink yarn so that we can move in the other direction so this will be the forward knot like this and with the forward knot as you can see I brought the yarn from this point from this place to this place 
and now we can continue with forward knots. So I'll take the green yarn and make one forward knot. second forward knot. So the number four, then I put the yarn through the loop here and make the second forward knot like this. And as you can see my black yarn is now here. And you see that the zigzag pattern has taken shape now. And how are we going to continue? From now on we make again only forward knots until we reach the black yarn again. So I'll make one forward knot with the pink yarn, one forward knot, the second forward knot, on the black yarn with the pink yarn. One forward knot. A second forward knot. So we have created only forward knots with the pink yarn and then we shall continue making forward knots with the green yarn and then with the black yarn. So one forward knot, the second forward knot, one forward knot, second forward knot this way and now with the black yarn one forward knot a second forward knot one forward knot and now we shall create a backward knot so we made a forward knot and in order to bring the black yarn backwards we shall make a backward knot this way so with the backward knot I brought the yarn from here back to here. And now we shall continue only with backward knots. So once we make only forward knots and then we make only backward knots. And the resulting pattern is as you can see a zigzag. So from this point on I will continue creating uh, backward knots and then forward knots, then backward knots, forward knots until I make the entire bracelet pattern and after that I will show you how to create the bracelet ties. So I will go on making the bracelet now. And now that I have finished the zigzag uh, bracelet pattern Let's create a tie. I will open this knot here that I only created in order to know where to begin the bracelet. And now we can start making the bracelet tie. In order to make the tie I will simply braid these three yarns.
and now <clears throat> I will create a knot here to mark the end of the bracelet tie I will take the scissors and cut the bracelet tie like this and our first bracelet tie is finished and I will do the same with the other end of the bracelet. I will make a tie just the same as this one and then I will show you how to close to make the bracelet knot. And now that I have created the bracelet tie as well, let's create the bracelet knot. I will take one of the ties, I will create an overhand knot, like this. And through this knot, I will put the other bracelet tie, like this. And now I will tighten the knot of the first tie and I have created a sliding knot through which I can change the size of my bracelet. So as you can see we have the knot here on this bracelet tie and through this knot I inserted the other bracelet tie and as you can see it moves through the loop of my first knot and this way I can change the size of the bracelet. And let's see what my finished bracelet looks like. Let's close the bracelet like this and this is the finished friendship bracelet, zigzag bracelet. So I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching.